Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. We find ourselves at the Brick Bin, which is the private Lego store here in Calgary, Alberta. And today we're gonna to spend the majority of the day here at the Brick Bin looking for some awesome stuff for our zoo, amusement park, Ninjago Cliff Edge, train yard underneath the Lego City. We're essentially gonna be searching for parts and pieces, maybe even sets that are gonna to go toward creating awesome custom stuff in the Lego room. So we're super excited to be here today. Why am I saying we are? Because actually, Jose and I are both here today. This is the first time that Jose has been to the Brick Bin. So her and I are gonna spend the majority of the day here going through uh, the Brick Bin's parts, minifigures, pieces, everything like that to try and find some valuable stuff that's gonna be really helpful when it comes to creating custom stuff in the Lego room and we could not be more thrilled. Actually, we're here in Calgary uh, for two nights, so essentially three days, and we're doing a bunch of other stuff uh, on this little vlog road trip as well. We're going to some other Lego stores, such as Toys R Us, the Lego store. I think there's a, another privatized sort of toy store here that sells Lego as well. And also we're gonna go to the zoo and who knows what other trouble we're gonna get into as well. That's not all gonna be in this vlog, but that's gonna be in a future vlog coming up here in another video. So let's head in inside to the brick bin and see what's going on today on this beautiful, my camera cut out there a little bit, but what I meant to say is in this beautiful sunny day here in Calgary, Alberta. Let's roll inside. All right, just took a brief glance around here at the selection. Let me tell you, there's a lot of great minifigures and a lot of great pieces that we're gonna be finding here today at the Brick Bin. So we're pretty pumped up. I'll give you guys a full tour throughout this video. We'll take a look at all the sets and we'll take a look at all the minifigures and we'll also uh, go through all the part bins and uh, see what we come up with here today. It's gonna be pretty sweet. All right, so this cabinet right here below the Star Destroyer is loaded full of minifigures. And so is this cabinet here. And there's actually a couple more trays behind the counter there, just above all of these sealed ones here. We'll have a look at all the minifigures and all of these awesome parts in this bin here. But first let's have a look at the sets that we got here. See if there's anything that's sort of changed since the last time. Up top here, we've got all those custom art pieces, sort of commission style. Got some of the newer sets here, like the Attack on the Burrow. A lot of older city stuff down here. Monster Fighters Tree, ooh, look at this. Superhero Spider-Man, Spider Cycle Chase. Look at that Venom. And also Spider-Man. It's a good set, superhero lineup. Some city boats. The large container ship there. Some more superhero stuff. The seaplane. Some of the smaller Harry Potter textbooks on the bottom here. Hogwarts moments. Ooh, I like this Coast Guard ship. I already got one of those, don't need another one, but I still like it. Some Ultra Agent stuff up top here. Well, in the middle, and <laughs> up top here we've got some fairground rides. Right beside Big Ben. Also the Helicarrier. Sesame Street, what is this? This is elves. Whoa, look at that dragon. It's pretty neat. Some Star Wars stuff. Ooh, there's a cool one. That's the Arrowhead. Got another one from that movie that everybody loves. And then this one's from Solo. The Stark Jet below that. Some princess stuff down here. Hey, we've got that one. That's one that I bought for Jose for Christmas a very long time ago. No, oh, not that long ago. Some of the helmets, Dom, Dom's Dodge Charger, Simpsons House. Ghostbusters HQ. Death Star, another Cloud City, Cantina, Birch Books, The Diner, Snow Speeder, Parisian Restaurant, Assembly Square, Pet Shop, 
Oops, that's assembly square. <laughs> Sorry, that's the Grand Emporium. Why did I say that? Funny. And we have the Death Star Final Duel. Ooh. Old fishing store. Arkham Asylum. The Technic Porsche and also Bugatti beside the Land Rover Defender and this 4x4 crawler beside the brand new Daily Bugles. That's the cool thing about this store is they have like current stuff and they also have older hard to find retired stuff. You got the Elf Clubhouse, Mustang, some architecture sets down here like New York City, San Francisco, the Black Widow helicopter, some classic stuff in this bin here. Monkey Kid, Disney Castle, and Jago City Gardens. Here's the Ghost. Also the Lone Ranger train chase there. The Joker Manor, the Tumblr. I heard we're getting a new one, apparently. Maybe, possibly. You know what, last time I was here, they had a Hogwarts train that was half built and I left it behind and it's gone. Because I could have used the parts and pieces from that Hogwarts train to just like expand mine and make it even bigger or complete mine. Hey, that's neat. Captain Phasma, buildable figure. Some other miscellaneous stuff in these bags here. Look at these giant ship hauls. This would actually be good for an underwater area. We could add like a capsized ship. And there's all these panels here. Ooh, these would be good for our zoo, Jose. Those are cool panels. Oh yeah, they're cool. There's a bunch of them there too. And we've got Jedi Starfighter with hyperdrive beside the Razor Crest, the AT-AT -AT Walker, some dinosaur stuff, the Haunted House. Old school Hogwarts train, some system stuff, the cargo train, Joker Land, Metal Beard Sea Cow up here, the London Tower Bridge beside another Simpsons house and the Upside Down. I'm sure he's probably got the Quickie Mart stowed away somewhere as well. The Dark Fortress beside Benny's Spacecraft. $129.99 for Benny's Spaceship. That doesn't seem that bad. Did I dare call it a spacecraft? It's a spaceship. And we have uh, some Harry Potter stuff. Oh, what's this? SpongeBob. Also another SpongeBob set right here. In front of an Indiana Jones set. Some classic uh, Batmobile here from the uh, Lego Batman movie. There's a nice Batmobile. Bought that one used last time I was here. The Death Star again. Some Nexo Knight stuff. And some Technic stuff, including a used Ferrari there. This is pretty cool. Temple. It's got a classic soccer stadium there, or soccer field. Stacks of base plates here. Yeah. So he's got the same problem as me. Too many of these, maybe. We've got tan, pink, magenta, all sorts of colors. We'll have a look at these uh, later on in this video because that's what we're going to be focusing on, buying bulk parts today because we need parts for our mock projects. That's discussed in the beginning of this video. Let's have a look at these minifigures here. Okay, but before we have a look at those minifigures, I want to show you what Jose's been up to. So... She's been going through the dark bluish gray bins here. And this is what she's found so far. This is $15 a cup, just like pick a brick. However, you're not allowed stacking your pieces from what I see, that's, that's fine though. We got one by eight tiles, one by six tiles, slopes, some profile bricks, more slopes, some masonry bricks, all sorts of slopes in different colors and dark bluish gray tiles, some quarter round pieces and all sorts of good stuff here, panels. So all this stuff is gonna be able to go toward creating our exhibits at the zoo or some mocks like the arcade, etc. And that's what we plan on doing all day here is just sort of going through these bins and um, just sort of grabbing pieces that we that we need. And as you can see in here, like large plates, right? Large bricks. Those are just wonderful for building mocks or buildings, especially when you're like a building 
guy, right? Like, you get a lot of plates and a lot of bricks in different colors, and you can create some pretty interesting designs. Like, there's more tiles here. There's some rounded elements. Very cool stuff found in these bins here. All right, everybody, don't get too excited about the minifig selection in this store today. This is crazy. There's so many good ones. Here we have our superheroes. We got Loki, Storm, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Venom, Vulture, Red Skull, Wanda, Iron Spider, Rocket Raccoon, Captain America, Batman, Joker, King Tut, March Harriet, Robin, all sorts of different Batmans, Dark Seed at the back there, we got Pink Batman, Fruit in the back, down here we've got some Star Wars ones, we've got some clones, Mandalorians, look at all the Boba Fett's right there, R2's with the, with the mud on them there, C-3PO, Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, Amidala, Scorch Troopers, then we've got some Lego Movie and Ninjago ones down here, oh, there's Aladdin, Grip Hook, Haggard in the back there, Ninja Turtles, Minecraft, Shaggy, Newly Headless Nick, Dumbledore, Voldemort. Down here we've got Aladdin, sorry, uh, Hercules. The ice cream guy over there. Another Hagrid. A mummy over here. There's just so many great minifigures in here, whether they be CMFs. Oh, look, there's Lady Liberty. Babies. Frozone. And that's only cabinet number one. We still have this cabinet to go through. And here we have a better selection of our Disney ones. So we've got Scrooge, Mickey, Minnie. Oh, there's uh, Buzz Lightyear. Cheshire Cat. Ooh. Alice. Ariel. Peter Pan. Simpsons ones. Ooh, I don't have that one. I don't have him either. Oh, I don't have... I have I'm missing a lot of these. Uh-oh. Comic book guy in the back there. Santa's little helper. And Professor Frank, that's his name. I was, I was thinking of that. Tony pointed it out to me here. <laughs> then we've got some uh, Lord of the Rings ones here. We've got uh, Gollum or Smeagol, whatever you want to call him. Some elves. Frodo. Jon Snow. No, I'm just kidding. And then, uh, some more Simpsons. Tusken Raider. Got this creature there. Gungan. Some astromech droids in the back there. Ooh, what's that? Darth Maul in a... in like a snowsuit? And you got C-3PO with a Santa beard in the back there. Down here we've got some dinosaurs. Ooh, there's ostriches here. Ostriches, dinosaurs. Look at the size of that dinosaur. We've got some aliens, gingerbread men, all sorts of people in costumes like the cactus, gorillas, chickens, pigs, pandas. And that's all above just a classic set down there, a classic train set. Right beside some awesome Technic stuff here. And then over here, we've got the Darth Maul bust. Always wanted to get that one. Pretty sweet. And just behind that, this is our cash counter here. Got some of the uh, DC minifigures. 
just below the TIE fighter. Ooh, look at that big fig. What is that? Crazy. Some classic castle stuff here with a minifig display that's full. Actually, four of them that are full. Some of the other CMFs here. And then some classic stuff below that. And check this out. We've got a few more trays up here full of Star Wars minifigures, generic minifigures. There's a witch right here, Harley Quinn. Hey, the genie. That's cool. And a bunch of selection here. And beside me, we have all these. I think these are priced per piece. So we've got like food elements in here, baguettes or drumsticks or cherries. Uh, we got chests, garbage cans, circular pieces, which would be the lids of your garbage cans, all sorts of bar elements, fence pieces. Ooh, those would be good for the zoo. There's fence pieces over here, so that's perfect, should say. Hey, that's like the propeller for the um, Dreamliner. Got a cauldron. So all sorts of unique pieces here that are being sold by the piece. And they're always cycling stuff, so all this stuff still has to be sorted here. It's Tony's mess. And then we've got, uh, uh, we've got yellow here. This is, once again, 15 bucks a cup. All sorts of fence elements in here. Like, that's, that's awesome. And all sorts of different pieces, curved elements, bricks, plates, tiles, you name it. That's for yellow, red, blue, light bluish gray that Jose is going through, dark bluish gray, black, and white. And then this stuff, for the most part, is 30 bucks a cup. But here we have the more sought after colors, like, the dark tan, the pinks, the oranges, browns, green. Now that's thirty dollars Canadian. That's really not too bad because when you think of, think of it, a pick up cup at the Lego store is um, twenty dollars, right? So you can get windows and doors, window frames of all sorts, right? So you get a bigger selection here, essentially, right? Get some rail pieces. So a lot of this is priced by piece, but most of it will go by the cup, which is pretty cool. And I mean, I'm sure come down here and you talk to Tony, he'll, he'll make it work for you, right? Just based on like that. Look at that, the gold drawer. Ooh, that's cool. One time we were here and uh, gave him a hard time by buying the whole bin of Trans Blue. And every time I come back, they bring it up. So might have to do that again, but look, there's just a little bit left. <laughs> the scrapings. The, the scrapings. You know, there's the trans light blue. Which is great for like water and, and stuff like that if, if you want to go through there and get tiles or, or whatever, right? You got all the technic pieces here. So it's pretty well organized by color and by part type. And then uh, further refined. Ooh, look at this microfighter, the Wookiee gunship. Okay, well, that's only $12.99. I'll take that. That's, that's going to the pile. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what's this one? This one's $12.99 as well. There's another microfiber. I'll take that. Okay, sweet. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about uh, this one here, which is the Naboo Starfighter. Think about that as well. We're going to do some shopping here, and then uh, we'll see what we come up with today here at the Brick Bin because there's so many good pieces. Like, I was really eyeing up these. Also, like, Jose and I are looking for about, I don't know, 100 civilian minifigures for our zoo, our amusement park and I think maybe eventually over time the brick bin might be able to make that happen or, or help make that happen because we need to populate we need to give it an authentic look and in order to give an amusement park an authentic look it's got to be swarmed full of people so that's our goal over time and Tony the master of disaster is on it he's finding the minifigs so we're sitting here and we're going through a bunch of different parts of pieces right now. Check this out, we found all of these animals right here. They're going to be great for the zoo, aquarium, sea, etc. And we keep finding even more. All of this dark blue spray, wall builders, tiles, uh, profile bricks, slopes, etc. Same with the light blue spray, more dark blue spray. And we found a bunch of these uh, trans clear elements that are going to help create different uh, enclosures in our zoo. 
and then all of these fence elements for our farm. And we're gonna go through the minifigures, looking for all those ones are minifigures sealed, yeah. just for our generic That's city. All, uh, this is what we got so far. Also, I'm going to the black brick, looking for some black bricks for our custom brickhead display. So it's coming along great here. Yeah. That is sweet. I like that. What's that? Jaguar? That's a good looking cat. So we've been working away here on filling up some uh, bulk Lego cups and also finding a bunch of minifigures. And look what I've been uh, working beside the entire time. This is the display. What's special about this at, -AT Walker? That's the at, -AT Walker that started it all from 2014. And he's got one here which is like a store display. And in there is the snow speeder as well. And all the minifigs and all that. That's like an official store display and Look at that, the original wrap is on it and everything. That is pretty cool. This is what we got going on here. We've got a bunch of minifigures for the city. We've got a pizza truck and also an ice cream truck. And we've got a whole bunch of animals, limb elements, uh, fence pieces, these panels here, which we're gonna build a wall in the zoo with. We've got all of these elements here, which are like the reddish brown panels that we're going to build trees with, a bunch of trans blue elements, some large plates that we're going to create some wet sand on our beach, and then a whack of bricks, plates, pieces, for tiles and all that. I'll let Jose get these two minifigures here. We've got Alice and also Buzz Lightyear, and then we've got these three micro fighters as well to add to the micro fighter collection. Oh yeah, pretty good little haul here from the brick bin. So Jose and I essentially pack cups for about three or four hours or so. There's so many great parts in those bins, right? Last thing we got to do here is pay for it, unfortunately. So yeah, <laughs> the big gonna, bill's the, coming the, up the, for Jordan. The big bill. There we go. Yeah, let's get it done. So holy geez, the brick bin is truly a Lego paradise. The amount of bulk Lego that they have there that you can go through, and the amount of individual minifigures that they have that you can go through is simply incredible i cannot stress that enough it's it's amazing i love that place they also have a bunch of retired sets we got those micro fighters to add to our micro fighter collection and we also got a whole bunch of ball parts for our zoo uh for the uh just like anywhere in the city really and just a mass population of generic civilian minifigures so we can populate our zoo and also our amusement park Everything that we went to get, they had. And that is just, it's just a special, a special feeling. And it's as if I left the Lego store because it's in a Lego bag and everything. I forgot to show you guys, but while I was there, he acquired the original Tan of Four and also an old school AT, AT Walker. I should have showed you that brand new in box. Incredible. I was like, wow, I should get that today. But no, we're looking to get parts to work on some custom mocks and custom stuff. And I can't, we can't, you know, veer away from that. That's going to be our new thing here. We're trying to build some custom cool stuff. And if the brick bin's got the parts to do it, then I guess we're going to the brick bin. Pretty sweet. I can't wait to show you guys more detail on what animals we got and everything like that. So uh, I'll show you guys that in a future vlog coming out here on the channel. Uh, that's really about it for today. Just wanted to show you the brick bin and share a brief explanation of what we got. Thanks a lot for stopping by today. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on the channel. Peace out, guys. Have a great one.